So I'm in BC, I'm loaded up on gas and groceries, I don't need to make any stops. Headed straight out on this Beaverfoot Forest Service Road, where I will be completely isolated. But you guys know me, isolation is pretty much my entire lifestyle. They're saying July 1st is the date when they're going to remove all these uh, travel advisories. So I should be able to explore the interior to much greater depths at that point. But yeah, I've never been out here before, so I'm excited to look around and see what's available. I couldn't find much information online about hiking, but I'm sure we'll find something. And I'd also like to do some construction on my kitchen if this rain lets up. I was burnt out uh, with building for the longest time. I got it to the point where it was cozy and livable, but now just got to make things look better. And uh, I'm hungry. It's dinner time, so I'm going to make some nachos in the air fryer. Air crisp, 3.50, 10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna cut this one short, six minutes. That machine really does everything. Happy with that purchase. I gotta try some cookies or dessert in there eventually. Well, would you look at that. As soon as I found a place to park for the night, the sky cleared off. I can do some construction. No cell service out here. That's all right, though. I can live with that. Complete and utter silence. No talking. Yep. <laughs> Saw lots of signs of bear scat on the drive-in. They are definitely outnumbering me. Let's get to work. So I want to fix up this ugly business right here. I'm going to cut out a lid for it that's going to be hinged. And uh, on top of it, there's going to be a surface uh, where I can set my hot frying pan. So I don't have to worry about setting it over here on my nice prep board and scorching that or melting the paint over there. So there's like a founding audience of my channel that's here for the bicycle touring. And occasionally those questions come through if I'm ever going to do another trip like that. And... Right now the answer is no. I just uh, so much prefer what van life enables me to do to come out to places like this and uh, just explore them to this level, all these nooks and crannies. It just was never possible to do it on a bicycle. I remember on those trips uh, the mountains were always my favorite part but it's uh, just so much more of a struggle. I mean uh, you got to carry all your food and water out there. You're on a time limit. You're a victim of the weather and you're just eating the crummiest foods usually. I just, I don't know, I just never dreamed this was possible and I'd like to keep this up. This was overdue. What the heck is that? Foresty Forest is uh, living the slob life. What fun is painting something if you're not stuck inside, enjoying all those fumes? Oh, there you go. Mess hidden. I'll see you uh, next time when I'm in town if I can pick something up to go on top of this. Maybe at the thrift store they got something. But that's my night, so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, it's go time. 
this probably looks like the next day but yesterday it was actually still cloudy and rainy so I didn't get out for anything I just scouted around and uh, it looks like this flow peak may be possible to do so let's give it a shot I'm starting out here with the bushwhack this is gonna be this is gonna be chaotic Ugh, these these BC bushwhacks are a lot different than the Alberta ones Well here I thought I was on this extreme bushwhack and turns out somebody's cut a nice trail through here. Maybe they've built a bridge over the river as well. There could be a cabin up here, maybe that's why someone's putting so much effort into uh, maintaining this trail. This is unbelievable. I'm totally blown away by this. Somebody was here recently with a chainsaw clearing off all the deadfall. And this isn't within the park system at all. This is somebody's individual effort to maintain this trail for some reason. All right, I lost it. Easy come, easy go. I took the drone out for a second and looked around to see if I could spot a cabin, but couldn't see anything. It's a mystery trail. I just got the drone out again to look ahead. It's a really handy tool for route finding. It looks like there's a gully over there that I can follow up. Then I should have a straight shot towards the top where there looks to be a bit of a summit block. Hopefully I can deal with that as well. And it also uh, sounds like it's really windy so I might have to queue up that music again. And uh, hopefully I can fly my drone on the summit. It seems like the whole reason why I come out here. That was Foster Peak over there. If I was feeling really ballsy, I could put the crampons on, trudge straight up that snow. But if you're gonna do stuff like that, it's best to do it early in the morning after a good overnight freeze. But still, you can be doing everything according to the books. You can have all the training and stuff can still go wrong. It's always a gamble. So yeah, don't listen to me. I'm just some kid from the Ontario suburbs pretending like I know something about the mountains. But I have managed to stay alive this long. It didn't look like there'd be a way to get to it. Whoa, from that side, so I'm just going down and around to the other side. Let's see if uh, it's any better. This is kind of crazy. I hope it works. I knew this chute was here because I scouted it out with my drone and as I was looking at this it said motor stuck and the drone just fell straight out of the sky landed right on the rocks smashed into a million pieces beyond repair more damaged goods in the foresty forest ecosystem that was not my fault I think this one's on DJI and they owe me a new drone I'm gonna talk to them as soon as I get back but at least I shot some summit footage earlier so I can use that. It's just not quite as cool without me standing on the summit. It's so steep. This is the longest 400 meters ever done. Big step, step, stop. Step, step, stop. No wonder why I'm single. You're signing up for some heavy duty punishment. If you want to go on a date with me. Camera work, more important than safety. 
Got it. Did I do it? No Summit Karen on this one. Maybe I snagged a first descent today, you guys. Making history. I took a look over there to see if there'd be a shortcut back, but that ridge line looks too sketchy, so I'll just backtrack the way I came. Foster Peak looking beautiful over there. And down over the edge is Flow Lake. Over in this direction, we can see Mount Assiniboine. And way over there is my van. I gotta get back to it. That trail pops it right there. It's not flagged or anything. If anybody knows the story behind it, let me know. Going in for more nachos tonight. That was a really good hike today. It was scary going up that avalanche chute. But uh, if it was melted out any further, I probably wouldn't have made it to the top. So I timed that just about perfectly. And uh, it's good to be back in BC. I can sleep right here. I don't have to move. I don't have to pay any fees. There's nobody else around for who knows how far. It's good to be back. Very skippy. Looking good. Well, it's time for me to go to bed, and that's a wrap on another episode. So I hope you guys are doing well, and uh, thanks for watching. Thank you to Patreon supporters, and I'll see you in the next video.